Nikola Tesla, the genius, his legend, and his inventions. Earthquake Machine It was a quiet day in 1898 when the residents of several blocks of buildings in the crowded Chinese and Italian neighborhoods of Manhattan began to experience a tremor that soon began to shake all the buildings and shatter glass, causing people to run scared on the streets of New York. The police were forced to rush in to assess the situation. After checking that the quake was confined to that small part of the city and suspecting who could be the cause, the police sent two of their agents to 46 East Houston Street. Just before entering the building, they noticed that the tremor stopped, and when they passed through the door of a laboratory, they were received by a tall and thin man with a mustache, elegantly dressed, and armed with a hammer. The man calmly told them, Gentlemen, I am sorry. You are just a trifle too late to witness my experiment. I found it necessary to stop it suddenly and unexpectedly in an unusual way. However, if you will come around this evening, I will have another oscillator attached to a platform, and each of you can stand on it. You will, I am sure, find it a most interesting and pleasurable experience. Now you must leave, for I have many things to do. Good day." Of course, that man was Tesla. The cause of that incident had been a small electromechanical oscillator with which Tesla was experimenting that day for his research into mechanical resonance. After placing it on a pillar of his laboratory, the vibration caused by the instrument began to spread throughout the underground of the building to neighboring buildings, creating chaos among its neighbors. So absorbed and fascinated was Tesla that he did not decide to end the experiment until he noticed that his entire laboratory was shaking vigorously. Another of his experiments he would tell a few years later to a journalist. This time, Tesla decided to experiment outside his laboratory, and after locating a building under construction in the Wall Street neighborhood, which was still a metal skeleton, he placed the oscillator on one of the beams and activated it. In a few minutes, the entire structure of 10 floors of the building began to vibrate, frightening the workers and causing the police to make an appearance again. Before anyone could realize what was happening, Tesla deactivated the device, put it in his pocket, and continued on his way. In the same interview, the inventor said that in less than an hour, he could knock down the Brooklyn Bridge and he even claimed that with a suitable machine and dynamite, he would be able to split the Earth in two.